Tula has a yeast ear infection. This is the simplest, most inexpensive and effective home remedy. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. For the last few days, Tula has been shaking her head, scratching. This ear, her right ear, it has really been bugging her. Her right ear here, it's red, inflamed. When you do a swab of the ear, this ear canal, this is a black debris that's coming out on the swab of the ear canal. And when I go ahead and smell the ear canal, it smells a bit sweetish. To me, it's like the smell of classic yeast ear infection. Like, that is a yeast ear infection. Anytime you've got a dog that has an ear infection, you get a swab of the ear, and you see this classic black debris coming out of the ear canal, 99% of the time, that is yeast or malathesia that is causing it. Dogs seldom get ear mites. What is this inexpensive home remedy, you may be wondering? It's none other than this, Clortrimazol Crane. This cost me about $5. It's sold under the brand name Caniston. It's used for yeast infections in people. The thing is, this is very effective against yeast. This is actually the primary antifungal that is in most of the veterinary topical ear medications. You know, whereas, you know, this large tube might last me up to a year, cost about $5. An equivalent veterinary one is going to cost you over $50. I also need to give credit to the first person that, you know, let me know that this was even an option. I had a client who was also a nurse, a human nurse at the hospital, who had a golden retriever, recurring yeast ear infections. We were forever prescribing things like Automax, etc. that included this antifungal, clotrimazole. And she's like, well, I know it's yeast. We've done multiple swabs. I've just gone to the pharmacy. I picked myself up some caniston or the over-the-counter caniston, even far less expensive. She was treating her dogs when the yeast ear infections would flare up. And as she said, it cost her like a tenth of the price. I'm like, huh, brilliant. The other big thing which I like is this is a single agent treatment. You're just treating your dog for what they have. Many of the veterinary ear medications, they also include some type of anti-inflammatory, some other kind of antibiotic, along with the antifungal. They're sort of like, let's try to treat everything all at once. But the problem with that is you're never really clear of what's the underlying cause. How much do you give? You're going to give about a quarter of an inch for 20 pounds. Here's about a quarter of an inch. I squirted it onto the end of my finger so you can see. So you're gonna tilt your dog's ear flap back, expose the external ear canal here. You're just gonna seat your cream at the base of the ear. I can see I've squirted about a quarter of an inch into that ear. Then I'm gonna rub the base of the ear really well. Okay, Tula. You can hear it's making that squishing noise. That means we're working the ear medication, the chlorotrimazole cream down into the ear canal. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that after 30 seconds or so. We you know it's worked its way in. Ta-da, there we've got your first treatment. What do you think? And you can go ahead and treat your dog twice a day for seven to 10 days. I often find with a lot of guys, after two or three days, they respond. So many dogs, you know, five days of treatment was fine and you know, the ear itching completely stopped. I know with Tula, just after one dose, like her ear, that much better. If your dog has a yeast ear infection, you know, kind of smelly, itchy, scratchy, black debris, I encourage you to try the Lord Tremazol, and I'd love to hear your feedback. Let me know if that helps. It's Dr. Jones.